so today I want to show you a quick layer mask trick in Photoshop CS5. Um, what I'm going to do to this image here is I just want to kind of play around with the colors a little bit. I'm going to do that by going down to my layers uh, panel, going down to the adjustment layer icon, and choosing, I'm just going to choose Vibrance for now. And so what that does is it sets me up with an adjustment layer that has a white mask on it. Let me do this first. I'm going to bring up the vibrance on this image all the way. So it's brought out a lot of blues in the sky. Say I want to control our robot friend here separately from the sky. Because the adjustment layer has already provided me with a white mask, I'm just going to make sure I have my brush tool by pressing B, that I'm painting with black, and I'm just going to use that, that black brush to actually mask or remove the adjustment layer from our robot friend. I'm going to hit the backslash key so I can see how I've done and fill in any of those missing areas and backslash again to turn that off. Okay, so if you look over in the layers panel you, you're going to notice that on that white mask now I have a black um, shape of that robot and what I can do from here is I can do Command J on the keyboard, and that duplicates the layer. And I'm going to follow that up with Command I, and that's actually going to invert my layer mask. So now what I have is um, I have the the inverse of the layer mask. I have a black background and I have a white uh, outline of the robot. And what that allows me to do is now with this top layer selected, when I change my vibrancy it's only going to affect the robot and when I use this first layer mask with the white background and I adjust the vibrancy it's only going to adjust the background so now I have independent control over both my subject and my background which is really nice it's just a, a, a quick trick from first creating your adjustment layer masking in a portion of it duplicating that layer and using that command I shortcut. Um, so now again I can I can bring down the vibrancy on the robot, I can go back to the background, I can boost the vibrancy on that, and it's a great little shortcut. 